everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make a scientific experiment on condensation. One of the phases of the water cycle, definitely a central topic in primary school. It can be performed at zero cost. Your pupils will be able to check, watch and touch all the phases of the process. This activity is a part of an e-twinning project that I'm carrying out with other Italian, Turkish, Azerbaijani, Tunisian teachers. This is why this video is in English. Why all this interest in STEAM, science, technology, engineering, art, mathematics? Because this summer I went to a STEAM course, as I have already told you in this video, and, uh, you know, it really fascinated me, especially the possibility to teach other subjects such as science and technology in English. It's the CLIL method, content and language integrated learning. Teaching something new is always stimulating, but lack of experience can be tricky. If you watch the video to the very end, you will find some advice from colleague to colleague, the timing, managing groups, uh, unexpected events, which, you know, are not so unpredictable. Well, let's go to our experiment on condensation. You need a plastic bottle, scissors, aluminium foil, preferably recycled, two plastic cups, transparent if possible, hot glue, hot herbal tea, ice cubes, the bottle at this height with the aluminium foil create a pointed tip. Stick one of the glasses to the bottom of the bottle, put the second inside the first. Pour some herbal tea into the bottle, be careful don't pour it into the glasses. The photos and shots you see were taken at my house. The first time I used blue food coloring, then I decided that the herbal tea was better, more accessible. Turn the top of the bottle upside down, trying not to leave openings. The steam begins to condense at the top. To speed up the process, fill the top of the bottle with ice cubes and place everything on a heated radiator. Within 15 minutes, the first drops will slowly begin to fall into the glasses. To the surprise of your students, the falling drops are perfectly transparent, no trace of the herbal tea with which you had filled the bottle. After a couple of hours, but if you have the possibility, you can continue much longer. Open your desalination plant, take out the second glass, the first one is attached to the bottom, remember? And have the children check what happened. Hot water generates water vapor. The steam rises but finds an obstacle, the top of the bottle, the lid. This lid accelerates condensation thanks to the cold of the ice cubes. The droplets combine together, become large and heavy and drip down the aluminium tip we had prepared. That's why now the glass contains distilled water, no longer herbal tea. This is how the first seawater desalination plants used to work in the past. Try it at home, it works! And now, time for advice for teachers. I am learning at my own expense that scientific experiments are much more difficult to manage than an English lesson. So many materials to find and tidy up, so much enthusiasm from children who would like to touch and see up clothes. One, you can make several bottles. We had made six and put them in different places in the class. Two. Don't underestimate the problem of ice cubes. You have to prepare them and make sure there is a place to keep them at school. 3. Radiators often have the worst shape, just the exact distance to help the bottle fall. We had put some sheets of paper underneath, but the experiment can last several hours and the inevitable happens. 
Perhaps it would be better to leave the bottles in a laboratory room and send small groups of pupils. They will be allowed to observe everything closely, provided they stand on their knees. Funny, but effective. 4. Do not throw away, lend the bottles to the children and invite them to try the experiment at home. 5. While you are proposing the experiment at school, have your students carry out an autonomous executive activity. Draw, copy a text from a photocopy, so that you can repeat the experiment for groups of 4, maximum 6 students at a time. I leave you in the comments the link to the experiment worksheet in English. Ok, bye for now, good work and let me know!